you want a job in tech. And in this video, I'm going to show you the one thing you can do to elevate yourself above all the other applicants out there. Because let's be honest for a second, getting a job in the tech field can be extremely difficult and stressful, especially if you don't have any prior work experience. But by doing these things I'm about to outline in this video, you're going to be able to put yourself above 90% of the other applicants out there. First off, I'm going to show you how to build your very own resume website, your portfolio of skills. Then I'm going to help you fill it with things that recruiters and hiring managers are looking for. I should know that is actually one of my responsibilities as a director of network operations. I'm responsible for hiring people in the network operations center. And let me tell you, when I see someone that is applying for a job and they have their very own website, it, my interests are immediately piqued. Finally, at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually show you some examples of people with amazing websites. Now, I know some of you are probably skeptical. You're likely thinking that I have a resume, isn't that good enough? The thing is, you only can convey so much information in a resume. You really only get to list off a few of your skills and your past jobs. And if you're just starting out in the field, you likely don't have a lot of things to put on there. But that's where a website actually can come into play. It is where you really get to tell your story. You get to highlight the things you're passionate about and give employers a better understanding of what you bring to the table. And I know you still might be like, well, aren't websites crazy expensive? I really don't have money right now. Well, to help with that, I've actually partnered with Hostinger and they've actually provided me a discount code to bring the cost of having your own website down just to a few bucks a month. Seriously, it is cheaper than that fancy Starbucks that you get every day to help you from going crazy. Now, I'm not saying a website will ever replace a resume. Many companies won't even let you apply if you don't have a resume. But did you know the average hiring manager spends less than eight seconds looking at your resume? I don't know about you, but I can't tell my story about how passionate I am about the tech industry in that short amount of time. Again, if I see someone that has their own website, I almost feel obligated to look at it. I know I'm gonna find out way more about that person from their website than their resume. I'm gonna see their different writing styles. I'm gonna see what they're interested in. I'm gonna see what they're truly passionate about. I'm gonna be able to make a better decision if they're the right fit for the job. So <laughs> enough talking. Let's build a website. Let's build that snowman. Now we're going to use a program called WordPress to build our website. WordPress is a fascinating and widely used content management system or CMS. It is open source and free to use and powers the majority of the websites on the internet. And with Hostinger, it is crazy fast and easy to get set up and running. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go to Hostinger.com. This process is really easy and Really, it takes no time at all. It's super quick to do. So if you come to their website, you'll see they have three different options, premium, business, and cloud startup. And honestly, for what we're doing, this premium plan is more than sufficient. You see, the premium plan comes with a free SSL certificate, unlimited bandwidth, free email, even a free domain name. But if you really want to take your hosting experience your website to the next level and make sure it runs super smooth, I definitely recommend checking out this business plan just because it increases your performance and includes a free CDN, which is content delivery network, daily backups, and so many more features. So once you pick out your plan, you're going to see actually you have several different payment terms you can choose from. The one that's obviously going to save you the most money is this 48 month option. But if that's not for you, if you're still on the fence about it, you can definitely do like a 12 month option or something like that. Now, don't forget, this is the most important thing. I have that coupon code that's going to actually save you even more. It's going to save you an additional 10% off. So once you fill in all your information, you're going to come down here and click, I have a coupon code and we're going to enter bearded IT. And just like that, boom, it saved you even more money. This is seriously an amazingly inexpensive way to promote yourself to future job employers. So once you filled out all your information, you're gonna click submit and it's gonna bring you to this screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click start now to start building your website. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and click skip the tutorial because I'm literally gonna show you everything you need to get your website up and running. Now. Since you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're building a brand new website and you're not bringing one over. So we're going to click a new website. And obviously, like I said earlier, the 
The choice here is going to be WordPress. WordPress is so amazing. It literally runs every website I've pretty much built from the beginning of time. So, okay, so you're going to go ahead and type in your email here just to build your admin account in WordPress and create a good password. Now it's going to ask if you want to install any plugins and honesty, I would just skip this because you can always do this later. Same here with the templates is they're going to show you a couple templates that hosting art has to offer. Unless you really like the looks of any of these, go ahead and skip because we can always add this stuff later. All right. Now the most important thing, getting that customized domain name. So you can see right here, you have the option to claim a free domain name. So let's go ahead and do it. It's free. Why not? Now the general rule of thumb when you're creating a website, you know, a resume website, a portfolio is you typically use your first and last name. You really want to make sure and keep this professional because keep in mind, future job recruiters and employers and stuff are going to be seeing this website and you're going to build on this over time. So for me, I'm just going to do something simple first and last name, but let's keep it a little fun. And we're going to go with dot tech. We're going to go ahead and search. Look, that domain name's available. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And it's just really quick. It's registering your domain name. You now have that domain name. That's so cool. And I'll show you here in a little bit how you can create an email with that domain name as well. All right. So now that's all done. We're just going to click finish setup and it's going to do its thing in this background. It's going to completely build out your WordPress website for you. It's going to get it all configured and ready to rock and roll. So you just have to input your information. This is one of the things that I think is so useful and helpful, especially if you don't know a lot about website design and development. It just takes all the guesswork out of it for you. And literally, it just took a matter of minutes to get your website up and running. And just like that, we now officially have a website to put all the useful information and really tell your story to those employers. So from right here, we can just go ahead and click on admin panel. It's going to take you into the back end of your WordPress website. Here you can do some basic information, you know, configuration and get your website up and running. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the ins and outs about WordPress. There is hundreds and thousands of different videos out there and tutorials on how to use WordPress. But what we're going to do is I'm actually gonna show you some examples, give you hopefully some inspiration of what some other websites look like in the tech industry, from blogs to personal resume websites and stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these websites and kind of give you some ideas on what to fill your website out with. Hey everyone, Future Dakota here, and I just realized as I was editing this video, I never showed you the website I made. So let me give you guys a quick tour of the website that literally took me just a handful of hours to put together. Okay, so here's the website I made using WordPress, and as you see, it's nice, clean, professional, and it was actually fairly easy to build. So here, across the top, of course, I have my name, we got our categories, you know, the homepage, blog, and our my contact information. I scroll down, I, I just have a little quick thing about me, have some of my certifications down here. And keep in mind, this isn't filled out all the way. I just like threw this together because I wanted to give you guys a good example. Down here, we have some of my recent articles I've posted. And if you click on one, you can see that these are actually a full article that I've wrote about something I've super passionate about and you know here this is a tutorial about the art of backing up juniper mx configuration something i actually i do on a regular basis and i created a full tutorial this is not only going to show your documentation skills to potential future employers but it has the potential of helping out someone else on the internet as well so really quick, I want to show you guys just, I have a really simple blog here, you know, where I talk about some of the must known commands for the Cisco CCNA. Uh, the, here's one of my YouTube videos I created linking to that. And just a couple of other articles I wrote. And just to give you an idea of something that you could put together that can actually help you land a job today in the tech field. This is a super powerful tool if you're looking to land your first job or advance your career in the tech field. And literally, it only costs pennies a day, especially if you use my discount code in the link down in the description. Okay, now back to the video. Now, all these websites I'm about to show you, they're all linked up down in the description. If you wanna check them out for yourself, kind of click around, hopefully help get some of those creative juices going. So the very first website we're gonna check out is website from AJ Murray, also known as No Blinky Blinky from the Art of Network Engineering podcast. 
as you'll see, he's got a really nice, clean website here where, you know, he's got his uh, different articles about things he's talked about, reviewed on his podcast, you know, different guest experiences and stuff like that. Very nice, clean website. Now we're going to go check out Amy Engineer. Amy Engineer has a really cool site that is just simple. You know, you don't need to make these websites over elaborate and hard to navigate you want people to be able to find the information that they're looking for quick and easy you know just like your resume where you know a potential recruiter only is going to look at it for eight seconds depending on how many like applicants are applying for this job that recruiter might not be able to spend a whole lot of time trying to navigate around your website so you want to keep it nice and simple and easy for them Another great website to check out is one of my favorites is Packet Tracer. So, or Track It Pacer, excuse me, I always say her name wrong. So again, from the art of network engineering, Track It Pacer is a, another great example of what a website could be for you. You know, you see she has some facts and questions about what she does in the industry, uh, some resources and stuff like that she's created. Finally, I want to show you guys KevTech IT Support's website. So KevTech is a wonderful and inspiring YouTube where he helps, much like me, helps people get into the tech industry. But you can see he's got tons of different resources. And this could be something not only that's going to be helping you get future jobs, but could be potentially helping other people in the tech industry get started. Having your own personal website is such a game changer. It can give you such a competitive advantage when you're applying for jobs or looking to level up your career. Like I said earlier, I get so excited when I see someone applying for a job that has their own website. And now that you have created your website and got your own domain name, I'd really like to check them out. So make sure and put them down in the description below so I can check them out and maybe even give you some feedback on things I would like to see differently, things I think would be helpful for you to advance your career. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, keep learning.